GoPro Hero Black 7. Any good? Find out in just a few seconds. YouTube, Dave here with Seen Through a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. If you haven't stopped by here before, please be sure to click on the subscribe button and click on that bell icon so that you can be notified of new videos. So guys, I appear to be um, getting a bit of a collection of cameras. So no, not smartphone cameras. I've got a whole bunch of those as well, but um, portable, small, tiny cameras that you can take anywhere with you um, and that you can vlog with. So I have to say my absolute favourite is this, the DJI Osmo Pocket and for a whole bunch of reasons this is such a brilliant piece of kit and if you've uh, not seen any of my videos on this little baby then um, I will link them above here, above there, there'll be a card appearing shortly. So what better camera to challenge this little piece of brilliance than the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Now, I think there's a whole bunch of these. There's a white, a silver, and a black. And I think the black is the top of the range model. So as you know from my previous videos, if you have watched any of them, my biggest downer with this otherwise perfect little device is the audio. The audio quality is pretty bad. I know they're gonna fix that over time, I guess, with firmware updates and stuff like that. But for the time being, this does remain somewhat challenging um, in terms of audio. Um, there are folks that have got great audio out of this and I think they fix that in the editing suite post. But for me, you know, it'd just be nice to not have to worry about the audio. But anyway, that's enough about that. This thing, however, is supposed to have really, really good audio. So I remain optimistic. Now I know that these are kind of action cams and you know, sometimes it's not the audio that you're capturing, but in terms of having a, a, a little camera where you can just chuck it in your bag and go off and you know vlog and you know capture moments and footage and stuff like that, you know I think these things are brilliant. The other little uh, pet peeve I've got with um, the Osmo Pocket is getting accessories for this is impossible. I mean it really is unless you live in China or you're sponsored and you know DJI are sending you this stuff early on um, you know it's just impossible to get hold of um, accessories and by the way I'm neither I don't live in China and I don't get anything sent to me violin I don't know at least that way you know you get an honest review right anyway guys this isn't a review or a comparison video once I get to unboxing this and playing with it for a few days or a week or so I will certainly be bringing you those videos but for the time being um, let's take a look at the side of the box there's a whole bunch of specs there but you know I think the key ones are 4k video at 60 frames a second 12 megapixels um, still photography shots and you know this thing is also waterproof so unlike this where you need some kind of weird shaped um, jacket to put this in it's like a clear plastic thing with a big cone on it and I guess that allows for the uh, gimbal movement um, but with this you can actually get to 10 meters or 33 feet in old money um, without any kind of other apparatus jackets or, or, or anything like that one thing also about the accessories for this I mean just a simple search on Amazon or Google or whatever and there are hundreds of if not probably thousands of different accessories for the GoPros so you know come on DJI bring it to us this is a, a brilliant piece of kit but without any accessories you are limiting the use of this and also um, you're going to limit people's interest as well so but that, like I said it's not about this it's about this for the time being so as I was saying, yeah, uh, waterproof 10 meters or 33 feet, but the one thing um, that this Hero Black, Hero 7 Black um, brings to the table is this, uh, what they're calling Hyper, hyper Smooth. What's it called? Yeah, Hyper Smooth. And what that is, is this is supposed to give it gimbal-like stabilization. So really, really looking forward to uh, testing that out. So. Let's get this baby out of the box now. I've uh, seen some folks trying to uh, take a hammer and chisel to this hard plastic 
piece of plastic um, in order to try and break this out like almost you know like fire drill break in case of emergency but apparently that's not the way to do it apparently you turn this thing upside down oh um, trusty knife come on guys where can I get a decent unboxing knife from just let me know in the comments section below but anyway back to this trusty knife still got all my fingers so that's good so there is actually a tab here and oh, I might not even need the, uh, the trusty knife. There's a tab here, which is already half opened. I'm just going to pull that across. Okay, so it's looking interesting. Ah. So, trusty knife, not today. So, kind of uh, open that up like that. There's a little handle here. What happens when I pull? Okay, exactly that the whole thing comes out so fantastic that is all drama let's pop that there so first of all this thing is uh, mounted with one of the mounts i don't know how that thing comes off pull and maybe slide oh pull then you squeeze these two little lugs in and then the thing just slides out so let's set that to the side it's really light actually Good. Um, and then let's have a look what's in the box. So, in the box we have some instructions. Well, this actually is tells you how to get it out of the cage. This thing's kind of like in a in a cage thing, and it tells you a little bit about the sticky mounts that are included, fitting them to a helmet. Yeah. Anyway, quick reference card. All good. Uh, need help? Not yet. Um, some GoPro stickers, um, not entirely sure where I'm going to put those, but uh, for now on the side of the table and then yeah, a manual. So that's good. I will obviously come back to that later. So a couple of other bits here, just going to open that box up and in here we've got uh, a mount. Um, that's a straight mount, so that's for like dashboard or something like that. I was going to say side of the car, but I don't think I'm going to risk that on, uh, you know, 60, 70 miles an hour down the road. I don't think so. Maybe on the dashboard might work just fine. Um, this is a curved one, and I believe that's for uh, sticking on the helmet, so that's included. Um, and these things just kind of, basically the same kind of deal. They just, I think you just squeeze and the thing just slides on. I could be mistaken though. Maybe you do it from this side. Uh, that's it. Do it from the back, squeeze, and that's on. And you've just got this little clip bit that pushes down, and that's pretty solid. So again, reverse, just flick that up, squeeze these two lugs, and you can push that forward, and it's out. So, pretty easy. What else have we got in here? Ah, battery. I can tell you now that these batteries... <laughs> On the internet or pictures of them they look a lot bigger now i believe again this isn't my review video but i do believe that these only last for about an hour so definitely should get another battery i've actually got one on order with a kind of fast charger thing so uh, waiting for that to come so pop that down um usb cable usb c tip top so uh really good to see that uh, everyone's starting to embrace the usb c apart from the uh company that uh, is a bit fruit like who uh, still you know just keep on with their own connectors but hey they're making a fortune out of that stuff but um they're probably making more out, out of connectors than they are out of uh, phone sales to be honest but uh, anyway um usb-c cable there's no uh, charging a block in here and I, I think you know i think the general consensus is you've probably got you know dozens of these things um, kicking around somewhere so they've not put one in the box and hmm, looked like there was another compartment but it's empty so um so that is it really um yeah i like this i don't know what i'm gonna do with that I feel like i should be kind of sticking that somewhere but anyway that's good so that's it guys for now um i'm not gonna go around and do the review of the camera just yet i want to get the hang of using it first and just really sort of test it out but uh, i will be back in the next few days with my um honest opinion um i'll show you around the camera some of the setup um and then we'll take some shots and then we'll do a comparison against these two um and yeah like you know 
from me guys you're going to get a good honest review um, you know I, I absolutely love this device I think it is the mutts nuts if you're familiar with that saying um, but you know this thing you know it is an action cam I mean this isn't probably feels like maybe it's a bit fragile because of the um, the, the, the three axis gimbal on there but this thing you know it does feel pretty robust it's light um, LCD on the back LCD on the front which gives you some information um, this mounting system seems to be tried and tested through all of the uh, GoPro um, models and you know I've, I've, I've kind of heard folks on the internet saying that they hated previous versions of this but they really like this version so really really keen to um, test this out and yeah it's small in the bag in the pocket even if you haven't got this mount thing on there you can just stick this in your pocket you know 4k 60 frames per second that's not bad is it so guys i'll be back soon with my honest review of this device um, setup and general usability take some footage with it and uh, post that up to you. Um, and then I should be back to give you my honest review as to how do these two things compare together. You know, this is definitely my favorite device currently. A um, lot going for it, few niggles that need to be ironed out. Please DJI, take note. Um, but um, yeah, I'll be curious to see um, and to let you know which one of these is going to make it into my bag for general day to day. So guys, if you have these two devices and you've done a comparison, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Which one did you prefer? Which one is your go-to? Curious to know. Um, failing that, um, I will be back very, very soon. I'm Dave with Seen for a Lens. Please don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. And I will see you the next time. Thanks for watching.